Okay, what we've done this morning is we've got rid of that uh, rust hole that was through there, through the shrunk tower. This is on the uh, left hand side, driver's side, left hand drive car. We've also picked up a bit along the side here as well. And also, there was a couple of bloody uh, rust holes in the chassis there, which I've actually taken them right out to hard metal and replaced it. So, I'll give that a coat of paint. And then that'll be alright then, so uh, progressing nicely. 65 Mustang. Here we go, Mustang 65 series we're working on now. Um, what we're doing, we're putting this bracket into that position there. On the front, the right hand side. Now what we've done was drilled some holes and what we do is we weld through to the inner plate and then what happens then it looks like it's a factory sort of joint and then it'll close over and all those little bits of rust we'll put some plates in there as for this little drop off section here that's not natural we'll make it put it all back again sounds like a plan You'd be struggling with your old brother, I'd say, wouldn't you? This is the one part of the cutout which is on the front uh, right hand side, left hand drive Mustang of course. We just put that back in there and then we're going to do the underside as well. We just tip it up a bit. Then we'll do the other side. It's actually a twin skin along here as you can see. So we'll make it back so it's all standard again. There's the other piece in the bottom here. We're going to weld from the bottom side up now. And then what will happen, it will look like a twin piece of uh, chassis rail. For some reason, I don't know why these people would have cut this out for. But silly, it might have something to do with some steering lock. The other one there we're going to repair. It's the same on both sides of the vehicle. So, But once again, do it once, do it right. Alright, what we got now is the passenger side of the 65 Fastback. We've been working our way slowly down the front of it right hand side which is you know in this case the passenger side um, remove the patch showing a lot of you know the holes up further of course as well which doesn't make it nice but. so uh, went out and bought ourselves some floor pan I go like that that's your upper front floor pan and then you've got the part which goes in front of the seat so where those holes line up through the floor pan and this is your mounting area where your seat goes so I think to make it a good job I'm actually going to take this floor pan structure out of here take all the spots out of here and I'm going to bring this piece right back up under a bit over here somewhere um, just to get the best possible job we can this is not an easy project, but it's going to be a good project, it's going to be done right, so I think, you know, right amount of time, right amount of effort, should be okay, so, alright.
Now right hand side on the uh, floor pans, now we're going to take out the seat mounts, right? So I've just lived over with a, uh, a linisher, exposing the spot welds. So what we've got is a quite a few spot welds we're going to take out of this one, to take that out and on to get that out. But the good thing about doing it this way is we'll be able to get into that chassis, fix that chassis up a bit, make it proper and strong and all good. So, uh, yeah, oh well. What else would I be doing? Here we go, this is the passenger side of the left-hand drive 65 Fastback Mustang. Removing all the spot welds through this seat mount up through there. Like I was saying before, so we can get to the underfloor to the floor pans in. There you go, look at that. Repair all these rips here. Once we take that out, we can see the chassis. The chassis will run through in here. And we'll be able to fix up a couple of little dents in that chassis. And there's a bit of a rip in that chassis as well. And then it'll all be coated. Good coat on it as well. Alright, there's a bit of an update going. So, yeah, pieces out. It's not really that you know, massive job. And putting it back's not hard either, so pretty confident with a bit of a mark out at the front there. Bit of a mark out at the front where we're going to have the front floor pan across there, and then the secondary pan comes down to about or about here somewhere. So we have that nice little hidden away there, all seam sealed, of course, stop any moisture getting amongst it. But yeah, it's coming along okay. Okay. I'll be able to repair this rip through here as well now. Get that done. No, that'd be good. Fix up the floor pan. She's a little bit whoop you do here. She's had a bit of a lift there. If you can see that from underneath, you can. So we'll bring that back down again. It's been hit with something, so it's a little bit of concave issue, you know, so they might get the chassis rail open at the top up inside on the other side there we can fix all this up here. Yeah a few spot welds out of it. Surprising how easy it comes out. This morning just marking out the uh, floor pan, front floor pan and then there's a the floor pan which is a firewall floor pan and there's a secondary floor pan that goes down here. Roughly where it goes um, what I've done was mark on the inside and then I'm going through the outside here now what I've done I've drilled a series of holes here across here to there you go I've done some holes there roughly to show where we're going with it and then down that side there underneath the car I started cutting with a grinder of course now the idea is, is not to go anywhere where you've got the uh, double skins here down here under the chassis so you don't cut through the chassis in any way whatsoever. Um, so yeah, so it's just coming along quietly once again. But uh, you can tell the difference in an aftermarket pan. This one here, for example, the front part. That lip goes downwards, where naturally they come upwards. This one here, you push that through. See, it comes up here where the aftermarket pan goes down, as you can see there, across here. What you find too with the, with the, the pan that goes in, same thing, it's folded down, but if you look inside here, this pan's actually folded up. So it's a little indication to say that it's got floor pans in it. No matter how good a weld you put on it, you won't revert them back the other way. Unless you're, you know, good at hiding stuff, but there was a big patch screwed across here when we got the car. Not a real good fix. Looks like they put a little bit of, you know, maybe bog, I don't know. But uh, there's a few things that aren't real good, but by putting in this floor pan, you can see the pan mark across here. This will cover all this rusted out points here. This whole bit here will be replaced purely for the strength. This is getting a bit thin here. Um, the pan's up to here at the moment, at the top here. But we might even nip it down below the, um, this is the, uh, actually this is, the, this is the passenger side so it's nothing to do with brake boost or anything. So we might even zip it across, who knows yet. 
but when we get it to set it fixed in place um, the original inspection holes here the drain hole where they've got a floor pan hole recess hole the other one shows it about here so there might be a little bit of movement there to make that back in the same spot I'd like to put it back in the same spot once again while we've got that seat the cap that goes on the seat part here um, I want to fix up this rip that goes through the floor here as well um, you can see I've drilled right through these holes here um, for the seat part but what I'll do I'll repair all that before we go ahead and put it back in um, I'll show you more as we go but yeah just drilling little pilot holes like that through there to know where we're going and I can see where I've got to step around the chassis here for example there's a tab that comes down and goes across this way and then down this way so we know that there's a chassis here see and there's a spot well just here so that's where we start here 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 and there's probably another one here somewhere but you know you can get your linisher out and give it a quick linish with a with a flap disc and you'll see those as you know bright as the sun morning and then you'll find we'll cut down alongside that to oh there it is there right there it curves back across comes out about here somewhere it does um but once again keep moving with it slowly Just showing you where I've done a bit of a cut out of the, uh, the panel. Let's do a little bit more cut through here. But I thought I'd just get a bit of footage while it's still holding in place. Good, strong steel. This is part of a folded joint here, which is what we'll use. Um, what we'll do is, on this side of the sh this part here, the chassis, as a split seam there, we actually drill those spots out, like I said before. And then what we'll do then is we'll actually attach that floor pan to that. That way this internal floor pan sits flush against that, flush against that, um, which this part here will be removed anyway, back onto the other floor pan section we've got. But um, you can see the guide holes I've used along here, little notch out things. I put the line above it because believe me it's always better to cut a little bit shorter. You know, as I used to say, you know, you measure it three times and cut it once. So uh, you can always cut back on that. But once we get the floor pan sitting in there to have a look at it, so it'll be alright though. No, but other than that, can we look from inside? Yeah. Oh, just getting some work ready for, this is a Sunday, so I'm just getting some work ready for Monday when Carla comes to do a little bit himself. He'll enjoy it.